My name is Mandeep. Welcome to another amazing episode. I am standing in front of 557 St. Giles Road. Today we are in the highly revered West Vancouver. The listing we are checking out today has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, spans more than 7,100 square feet of interior living space, and the home sits on more than 12,000 square feet of land. This home is currently listed for $5,880,000. This is a contemporary home with stunning views of the harbor from all three levels. The driveway has been finished with these beautiful pavers that lead up to the front of the home, where we have the modern aluminum glass garage door. The front of the home has balconies wrapping around the front, and because the home is elevated from the main road, the balconies are very private and have great views of Vancouver. Before we go inside, I want to give a big thank you to Edith Chan of Remix Masters Realty. Let's go check out this home. I like how the builder used these U's and this landscaping to cover that exposed concrete. And over here, we have these lights lighting up the stairway up to the front of the home. And then to my left, we have this aluminum hand railing. And also, I like how the builder used these glass for the railings. So, at the front of the home, we have these two massive doors that greet us. And then on both sides of the doors, we have these two big windows allowing a ton of light to go into the home. On the ceiling here, we see these wood stained soffits. And then also they have the black puck lights going all the way down. And to my left over here, we have this massive balcony, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. All right, follow me into the home. All right, guys, welcome to the inside of the home. The first thing that you notice is that you're walking on some very beautiful and very expensive engineered hardwood. To my right, we have the formal living and dining room and these beautiful light fixtures hanging above us. This room is gigantic, perfect to entertain all of your friends and family. I love the windows and how they're taking advantage of the, either the green belt or these ridiculous views of Vancouver. These doors open up to your front balcony for that amazing view right there. And to my right, which is the centerpiece of this room, is the fireplace. I love the linear fireplace, and I like how they made the hearth, the fireplace hearth, with the same material that they use on the wall. These are actually tiles, which are about five by eight, and it takes about three or four guys to actually install these. All right, so this is where you would have your dining table, and then, Right beside your dining table, you have this massive window to allow a ton of light in. One of the best ways to uh, add design to a room is to have drop ceilings. And then the builder has done that. And then on top of the drop ceilings, they've used these LEDs lights. And I really like the light effect that it creates. All right, let's walk over to the kitchen. And before we go over to the kitchen, I want to bring your attention to this, the staircase. This is more like a, a work of art than it is a staircase. The builder has used the glass as not only as a design, but as the railing as well. And I really like how they use the same engineered wood on the steps right here. And then on my left, we have this handrail, which is actually wood. I really like that a lot. And over here, I've never seen doors like this with this kind of cool design in them. And this would be your coat closet. Tons of room to put your shoes and then also some hangers as well. Follow me into the kitchen. This is one of my favorite parts of this house. I really like how the builder, instead of wrapping the entire countertop, which is natural quartz, all the way down, they stopped it right about here. That's a really unique design. I've never seen that before and I really like that. And then of course you gotta have your plug right here. And they have Mealy appliances everywhere in this kitchen. So with this cooktop right here, you gotta have a fan to suck it all up and the builder has uniquely placed it right here. Isn't that cool? And above this island, we have these two very modern LED lights. So once this reaches the top, as far as it's gonna go right about up to here, and it's gonna start sucking in all that air. And then over here to my right is the Mila fridge with the freezer right beside it. 
That is massive right there. And they've used PVC for their cabinets. And I really like the hardware right here as well. And of course you gotta have a slow stop. All right, so I'm just gonna shut this. And then you also have the Miele dishwasher right here. And that same quartz countertop is used as a backslash on the back here. And these cabinets open up like this. These are massive and uh, you could, uh, perfect for a lot of storage dishes and all that kind of stuff. And then you have the comb finish faucet right here. And then also a ton of space for all of your dishes and a lot of storage room right down here as well. Okay, and I also want to mention that they have the Miele wall stove and also the microwave right here. Okay, so that wraps up the first kitchen. There's also another kitchen, which is the butler kitchen right to my right. So over here we have the security system which monitor, monitors the outside of the house at all times. And then this door leads into your butler's kitchen where we have the five burner gas stove and then also a hood fan to suck up all that smell. And these are some textured tiles on the back wall right here. And they've used the same quartz countertop in this butler's kitchen as well. I like how they have this door private door into your butler's kitchen and then we also have the fridge and also another dishwasher right here all right so now let's go into the living room so the entire house is controlled with the nest system and then over here instead of placing a fireplace we have some storage area you can place whatever you like in here and this is beautifully designed. We have the same engineered wood on the wall as the backing. And this is where your massive TV would go right here. Okay, let's go on to the balcony. These doors lead to the front of the home. So this is a massive balcony, super private because we're elevated from the street. I love how the builder used these heaters, you know, which makes it a really usable space. And to my right over here, we have the barbecue with tons of storage on both sides. And they've also have this countertop on both sides as well. Perfect for cooking. And another thing I wanna mention are these skylights right here, which allow a ton of light to come down. All right, so, and actually, I'm not sure if I mentioned or not, but these are wood stained soffits. And then we also have speakers throughout the entire home, but on this balcony, we have about four. All right, follow me back into the home. So to my left over here, we have an elevator. And then to my right over here, we have the powder room. This is a beautifully designed powder room. You'll notice that they've used tiles and wrapped the entire area with the same tile, same on the floor, same on the wall as well and then this oversized mirror which extends past the countertop and goes right to the top. And there's a very rustic uh, light fixture. Okay, and then there's also one room on this floor which can be used as a bedroom or even as a office, whatever you like. And then conveniently we have the washroom right here as well. Very standard, has the sink, the toilet and the shower as well. And I like how they made this design floating. All right, and another thing that I wanna point out is that there is a separate entrance for this room right here. All right, follow me back outside. Okay, one thing that you'll notice is these door stoppers, everything that the builder used in this house is a super sleek and modern, even the door stoppers. This is the elevator. This is a massive elevator. You could probably fit about three or four people in here easily. This feels like I'm in an office building or something like that, not in a home. This is sweet. All right, so with that, this, that concludes the tour for the main floor. Now let's go check out the master bedroom and the bedrooms upstairs. Follow me. All right guys, now let's go to the top floor where we have all the bedrooms. 
Um, I just want to bring your attention to these lights right here. Instead of using strip LED lighting, the builder used these unique lights to light up the staircase right here. And above me, we have this light fixture and this massive window allowing a ton of light to come into the stairwell. All right, so to my right, we have the elevator, which takes you to all three floors in this home. And then this massive, long hallway taking you to three bedrooms. And then on this side, we have the light, uh, sorry, the windows allowing a ton of light to come into the home. And then I'm gonna take you into bedroom number one. Obviously, the focal point of this room is that spectacular view of the harbor, downtown Vancouver, and Stanley Park. And these doors open up to your shared balcony. This is a great sized room. All right. And then over here, we have the bathroom with the shower, toilet, and the vanity. Pretty standard. Follow me into the second bedroom. This room is very similar to the one that we just saw. Once again, a great sized room. We have the same balcony doors opening up to that balcony. And then that ridiculous view once again. All right, so follow me into what we would call the second master. So this room is a little bit different. It's a little bit bigger. I like how they didn't put up doors right here leading into your closet and your washroom. You have some shelving right here and a ton of cabinetry to store all your clothes and then some more storage on this side as well. This is where you have all the hangar space and all that kind of stuff. Once again, I love these doors, very uniquely designed. I have not seen anything like that before. So in this washroom, the builder decided to use this very beautiful countertop, which they used as the shower sill right here as well. We have the dual vanities, of course. And behind this door, we have the toilet. And then right here, we have the shower wrapped in this gorgeous tile. Then we have the hand shower right here as well. And then another thing I want to bring to your attention is this corner window. This is always very hard to achieve, but when the builder does it right, it always looks amazing and they've done that very well here. All right, so follow me in to the bedroom area. So this room, you'll notice, is a little bit bigger, right, because this is your second master. And then once again, you have that shared balcony and this, these doors open up to the balcony right here. All right, so now, I'm very excited to show you the master. Let's check that out. So I like how the home plan has the master bedroom and the three bedrooms separated. So on this side of the home, we have the master bedroom. And any place that the builder could, they took advantage of that amazing view. And this window does that right here as well. So we have a gigantic room right here. Once again, we got the balcony in the front. This one is not shared. This one is private, only for the person that would sleep right here. Okay, so to my right, we have the master washroom. And then a very spa-like feel in this room. We got the dual vanities, beautiful countertop. I like how it's floating and a very, very key detail. Usually builders do not put cabinetry right under the sink because it's wasted space, but I like how they made this super custom cabinetry right here. This is where your sink would be. And they've done the same thing on this side as well. And of course, you gotta have the slow stop. So we got the soaker tub right here, and then this gigantic shower. And this is all grohi, which is super expensive, comes from Germany. You got the body jets, the hand shower, and this massive uh, shower head right here. And I like how the builder tucked away the toilet in this frosted glass. All right guys, now let's check out the closet, which is right to my right over here. This is a very good sized walk-in closet. You have the custom cabinetry once again over here and they have the backing as well. This is when you know the builder is spending extra money because they could have just left this as drywall, but they didn't. I really like that a lot. All right guys, so now let's check out the lower level where we have the man cave, the home theater and atrium room as well. Let's check it out. All right guys, so welcome to the lower level. The builder used that 10 millimeter glass as a railing, which I really like. And then down this way, we have the elevator right here. And down this way, we have a room which can be used as your fitness center or your yoga room. And I like how the builder conveniently placed this vanity 
with the chrome faucet sink. And then down this way, we also have a shower, toilet, and the vanity. This is perfect for people that have like a pet or something like that. You just take this hand shower off, very convenient. Just wash your dog or something like that. I have a dog, this would be perfect to give him a shower right here. Okay, so follow me back up. So right here we have your very own sauna. And this is not a small sauna. You could get three or four people in this thing easily. I really like that. Usually homes have like a small sauna, which is personal for one person. And then once you're done in there, you have this gigantic steam shower with the same system that they had in the master washroom with the Grohe body jets and the shower head right above us. All right, so follow me down this way. We're gonna check out this area in a second, but follow me down this way where we have the powder room for the bar. And obviously in this area, you would want a dramatic look, which they've achieved with this countertop and then also the paint on the walls. I really like this room a lot. Okay, so down this way, right directly ahead of me, we have the garage, the double car garage. The builder decided to use epoxy paint on the floor. And then we obviously have the aluminum glass garage doors right there. And then actually down this way, we have some extra storage room. That room is actually pretty big. Perfect for some storage. So down this way, we have the home theater system. Now, how sick is this room? This has a ton of space for all your friends and family. I like the lighting that they have with the LED above the drop ceiling. We have a top of the line 4K projector and that gigantic uh, screen to project all your movies on. And below here, we have room for all your, you know, DVD players, your uh, speakers. And then on the sides over here, they've used the wood panels. You can watch movies in here with the lights on or with the lights off as well. Check that out. This room is perfect for movies. All right, so follow me into the laundry room right here. Good size laundry room. You have the side-by-side -side Whirlpool machines and then a ton of space to fold the clothes. And then right above that, we have the cabinetry. I like the hardware that they've used on here. And this is something that I've never seen before, but I like how they have this hanger rack. You can hang some clothes right here as well. And if you don't want to bring all your laundry uh, from the top floor on the stairs, you have the elevator, which you can use instead, which is very convenient. And then to my left over here, we have more storage. All right. So now let's check out the bar. So on the way to the bar, we have your wine room, which is right here. This is not a small wine room. You could probably hold a couple hundred bottles in here. And you just grab your bottle from right here. Shut this door. And then come into your bar area. So the builder spared no expense in this room. This is a stunning onyx countertop. This is very, very expensive. And I like how they wrapped it over with the waterfall edge as well. And then this is a perfect area to put up your TV, creating a sports-like bar. And then over here, you could display your bottles. And then we have the tinted glass right here to display more bottles as well. So right down here, we have some designated refrigeration where you can display more bottles and keep them cool at the same time as well. This room would be perfect for your L couch or something like that. At the center of the room, we have the linear fireplace. And then right above that fireplace, you would have your TV. This is Spanish tile. I like how they created that fireplace seat right below. And then right over here, we have some extra storage. Okay. And then also, I really like how they have the overhang and then you can put, place your bar stools right here and watch the TV that you will put up right there. And this is also a very gorgeous light fixture above your bar. All right guys, so that wraps up the tour of the home. Let's go check out the backyard. Welcome to your super private backyard. This is the ideal spot to have a barbecue. I personally would put my fire pit right here. On my left, we have these cedars, which are gonna grow to create even more privacy. And this spot right here is just a good spot to hang out and enjoy your backyard. All right, let's meet at the front of the home 
to wrap up this tour. And that's a wrap of this brilliantly finished home. The builder did an exceptional job here. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time.